Okay, this is a test of the pose-based roulette task. So you can see here I have the where the roulette is and the pose estimate from my last run. So what's going to happen is it's going to execute the simple search. It's going to drive to the prior until it sees the roulette. When it sees the roulette, it's going to drive over it, and it's going to descend in one meter steps, refining its pose estimate until it's one meter above the roulette, and then it's going to drop. So let me fire things up. Let's fire up our CV, and we will start the state machine. Hmm, the waypoint server should be running. Why did I forget something? Yeah. Okay, so it's executing its search from negative one meter depth. Oh. You can see what it's seeing in the down cam on the dark net. So it's a path marker. So its prior is pretty accurate actually, but you'll see um, it'll not be using its prior. <laughs> it's moving over there. What do we got? Picked up the roulette. So you can see we switch it to executing attack. So it's going to try to go three meters above the roulette here. I'll just kind of. So we've reached three meters above the roulette. Right now it's in drive strafe mode, so it's just uh, using a yaw rotation off of the optical axis. So it's going to spin as it descends. Of course, it doesn't bother anything. Okay. So, let's see, where are we? Okay, it should be... There we go! In the green this time. So it was just targeting the center of the roulette. So it's only about two inches off. Pretty sure with some modifications we can make it target a particular side. Whoa, it's chugging. Oh, yep. Is this thing ignoring me? There we go. <laughs> All right, so that's the roulette task. Um, we're going to attempt something similar for the new buoy equivalent task. The uh, Since they are, you know, just flat boards, it is very easy to get an extremely accurate pose solve. Dice are a little more difficult. They have a lot of noise on the optical axis, just using the raw bounding box. That's all. Cool.